How long have you yeah. been with the firm? Since April of last year. Right. Just right at the peak of the pandemic. Yeah, I I had I had worked for a, another lender. I was this guy's assistant. I came up all the way through the ranks, um, and you know worked for him for a year. As you know, wanted to go on my own. Obviously, the team format wasn't going to let me do it. So, um, you know, made a, made a connection here, and then like the pandemic hit, and I was like, "There's there's no plan B. Let's figure it out, and make it work." And I just hustled. Everything everything has been amazing. Like I'm so blessed right now. It was the best move I ever made. It was the scariest move I ever made, but it was the best move I ever made. That's awesome. So if there's ever anything I can do for you, you have my number. Okay. And you have Jennifer's number. Okay. And you know, and if you if you if you have a tight deal, if you got trying to make a num a deal work and there's not enough room in the pricing, right? I'm never gonna lo lose a deal. Okay. You just, just call David. And tell him this is the situation. He's going to make it work for you. Okay. He usually typically does. Yeah. I mean, our pricing is good, anyways. I don't. I don't. I don't really have ever had to get into a situation like that because our pricing's very good. So, but I get what you're saying. Yeah. Sometimes it happens like the. the I don't know. Like, borrowers got some debt or something that goes sideways, and you need an extra rebate to pay that thing off, or whatever. You know, it, it, those things happen. And then, and then all of a sudden it's like, okay, we can solve it with pricing. So call David, he'll work it out. Okay. I've been getting a lot of like, um, two we're talking with agents and they're like, Hey, I got a client. They're already pre-approved with somebody else. And it's like, you know, you know I've had, it, I've had it happen like three times where we, we won the deal, you know, Hey, go give me the loan estimate from the other lender, send it back, submit. And we typically match and, and, and yeah. we're obviously going to beat them on the fees usually. So that's, that's yeah. good. Yeah, but not only that, but now you have another arrow in your quiver. Yeah. Because you could tell them, well, that's, that pre-approval doesn't mean anything. It's not a true approval. Yeah, for sure. 100%. Jim says, all you have to do is tell them, let me see the file by 8 a.m. tomorrow. I will have you a, new, a no contingency approval in your hand. A true loan approval. Yeah. That's, and, and you know what? Maybe too, like with, with the emails that going out, because I was telling John, like, in any loan officer that's come from anywhere else, they always have TBD underwrite, but the TD under, DB underwrite's pretty, pretty, you know, it's not like this, right? So maybe, cause that's, cause I just was like, oh, I can send in TBD. And then I realized, oh man, this is actually being underwritten. And I, I have, I have a conditional loan approval and I know what I need, right? So maybe like with the, um, the, the marketing that's going out, being more specific on like, hey, this is what we're trying to accomplish here to be able to, for you to obtain a no contingency offer with your agents to generate more business. Yeah, well, that's exactly right. And that's why I recorded this video. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take what you just said, that, that clip right there and, and okay. blast it out. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, listen. I, I want to be the, the, the biggest and the best agent in Nevada, right? I mean, like, how do I do it? I have to have stuff in my toolbox that's different from everybody else.